Hello, hello everybody, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to episode 10 of Minecraft Waterworld Super Flat Survival. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of, uh, there's quite a bit of differences in this island from the last episode, and this is because I have done a lot of, uh, off-camera work. Now, as you can see, there is a whole new chicken farm here, which I have made, uh, using this, uh, fence gate. I also have um, this automatic automatic bone meal. Well, n not automatic, but it's actually semi-automatic. I have this semi-automatic uh, farm for uh, wheat, uh, potatoes, and carrots, which uh, by activating the switch, and wow, it is very, very loud, it activates this uh, redstone clock, which activates all these... Uh, dispensers which dispense the bone meal onto there as you can see i have used it quite extensively that's why the bone meal is uh is kind of uh decreasing although there's still a lot in there uh now as you remember from last episode i had this large not really large but it was a small enclosement here where i had a few chickens and i bred those chickens throughout the course of my off-camera work and then I had all the chickens go into this, I made this enclosure, and then I basically um, had the chickens follow me by, uh, let's see, where is my, yes, I have some seeds here, so I basically used these seeds to have the f chickens follow me over to the enclosure right here, where I kept breeding them, and then I kept collecting eggs, and let's go collect some of these eggs, and wow, there's a lot of eggs. Now, I don't really remember, uh, oh, there goes some more eggs over there. Now, for some reason, they always like to stay to the sides, but I think it's just that because the, the little chicken, uh, you see the little chickens, most of them, a, a bunch of them are not grown up yet, and that's because I have actually bred them very recently, so there's a lot of, uh, young chicken right here, so, and I think all the young chicken are keeping with the adult chicken, so that's why there's just so much of them. I also have several exits, just in case, so I can exit pretty much from anywhere I want to. Now, I try to exit without having the chickens move out too much. Oh, there we go, so, yes, that was a little bit, uh, bad. Okay, then, let him in there, there we go. Now, I also have this little double exit here, and this is just to make sure that, uh, especially if there's a lot of chickens in here, I'm gonna be able to exit, and, um, in case some chickens get out here, there's less of a chance that the chickens are going to get out with the second exit. Now, this is pretty much how much uh, eggs I have got. Now, that's quite a bit of eggs. I'm probably going to start making a larger chest to contain all that. Uh, now, okay, the sunrise. Uh, now, I also expanded the island out here as well. So, this is, I think the reason why I did this is just to make the island look more symmetrical. Because, as of right now, my island is a square. Actually, let me just go up and then let me verify that. So let me just go up a little bit, uh, and as you can see, well, I'm, uh, other other than this uh, little area here, most of my island is pretty much square. So that's why I added some more uh, some more cobblestone and expanded my island over there just to make sure. Also, I think I'm gonna use this for my Nether portal, and that's where my Nether area is gonna be. Uh, I'm also gonna plan on having I'm planning on having some more farms and I make an automatic uh, wood farm. Uh, now, in the future, when I'm going to be trading, let's see, do I have any, uh, where's my agriculture chest? Uh, haven't played this world in a long time. Uh, let's see, dirt, sand, glass products, uh, cobblestone, stone products. Yeah, we're kind of running low on cobblestone. Oh, yes, I think I made way too much cobblestone walls than we really need to, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this. Hopefully, I'm going to try to use this for some of the grinders that I might make, uh, in the future. Uh, I'm definitely planning on making an iron golem farm in the future. That's where I'm going to get my iron from. Um, that's going to be really great, but of course this is pretty much end game stuff. Now as you can see, I've also made this, uh, I've put a second fence gate here. That's just to, to protect myself against all these uh, villagers, which would keep on throwing potions out at me. And this is pretty useful because what I can do is I can just... This is kind of weird. Okay, there we go. So I could just uh, open this, and then I could just kill all the witches and whatnot from right here, so then I don't have to expose myself. Uh, yeah, this is kind of weird. I wonder why am I not able to... Uh... Okay, let me just uh, kill them from the side right here. There we go, there's a few more. Oh, we can see some glowstone over there. Um, 
Now, the reason why I was able to make my semi-automatic seed farm over there, that um, dispenser bone meal-powered uh, uh, semi-automatic farm, is actually because I got so much redstone from all the villages that kept falling down here. Let's go ahead and collect all this. Ooh, we got it all, so let's see. Um... Let me organize this glowstone dust glass bottle. Uh, now, do you have any more rare drops? No, it does not seem so. Um, put some more string, uh, bones, uh, gunpowder. Kind of running out of space for that. Uh, now, I, I like to have two stacks of arrows, that's just in case. Uh, now, it looks like we ran out of space for our arrows, so I'm going to have to soon take that and move that over to the bulk storage area. Uh, let's see. Oh, let me just take this just to show you around. Now, I don't remember if I showed you guys before, but I have this exit here. Um, now, I really gotta put some signs up here because it's gonna be much easier to identify what is what and uh, kind of get lost here. I have actually, to be honest, I have not played this world for as much as uh, two or three months. So I barely remember anything where everything is. Well, this seems to be my gunpowder chest. This seems to be my uh, bulk arrows chest. This seems to be my bulk uh, bone chest. This seems to be my bulk string chest. This seems to be my bulk rock flesh chest. And then this seems to be my potion, my uh, chest of um, potion chest. And then this is just my uh, other type of rare drops chest, so that's where my redstone and my glowstone goes. Uh, so this is how much I got. Well, I, d I had a bunch more redstone, which I, of course, all used to create this. And every single dispenser needs uh, a redstone piece, and I have to have a redstone piece put on top here as well. well. Actually, one thing that I could do is I could salvage this redstone, because as you can see, I don't have to place a redstone up here. And if I do this, as you can see, it still works, because this redstone still able to power this so i was just able to salvage a little piece of redstone there uh, now also let's see one thing that's gonna be pretty nice is let's go ahead and craft some glowstone pieces uh let's see oh where do we have a glowstone oh yes we have one glowstone right here that's just for aesthetic purposes uh now let's go ahead and craft oh i gotta put my glass bottles down um, let's see oh yes my my all of my potions are right here. Wow, we got a ton of glass bottles. Yeah, we got just crazy amounts of witches spawning. So thanks to my epic mob grinder, which I think has three or two levels of uh, spawning platforms, three floors of spawning platforms as far as I know, uh, that has definitely helped us in generating enough mobs to power all of our... Uh, industries which are dependent on rare drops such as redstone from witches now we also have 25 sugar which of course i'm going to use for uh potions of speed but that i'm only going to be able to do that when we go to the nether and speaking of the nether i think it would be a great idea if we might i'm not sure we might go to the nether in this episode Pro probably going to go in the next episode i'm not really sure what we're going to do in this episode i'm probably just going to show around my base a little bit more i uh i have to get accustomed to it myself because you know as you know, I, as I've, I've just said a few seconds ago, I have not played this world in several months, so pretty obviously I'm kind of out of touch as far as uh, knowing what this place is. I kind of, I don't even remember which villages we did explore and which we didn't. I think we explored a village over there, I think we explored a village over there and over there. I don't think we explored any villages over there, but I'm not sure, I don't really remember that well. Uh, so let's see. Now let's go ahead and craft... Ooh, we got five pieces of uh, glowstone. That's really nice. Uh, now, the reason why I crafted that is because we're not going to have access to uh, to any blaze rods in quite a long time. So I think it's going to be just better to use this as glowstone. Now, let's see. Where could I place this glowstone? Hmm. I'm thinking. Actually, one really nice place to put the glowstone up would be up here. And, yeah, that would be a great place. So, if you think about it, let's see. We could remove all these torches. And then I could place some glowstone around here. Let's see. And when I put the glowstone up here, I'm still going to be able to open the chest. So, uh, let's see. Well, now we only have uh, enough glowstone to cover two double chests. So, uh, let's see. Which ones should we cover? Or I might even put some glowstone up here just so it look nicer. Uh, well, let's just... I love the sound when you put down the glowstone. There we go. Wow, that looks nice. Yep, this is where glowstone is going to go. Uh, let's see. 
I'll just put another piece here. And then let's see, we're gonna need one, two, three, uh, four, five, and just five more glowstone to complete this array. And uh, let's see, I might, I might even, I might even put some glowstone up here, but I'm not sure. Um, although what I could do is, let's see. Oh wow, this is much better. Or actually, on the other hand, I think the reason I did that is because I don't really like how the, uh, the doors open up. Uh, oh, I think it works out well. Uh, or, let's see. Or, on the other hand, uh, how does it look like if I put it right here? Hmm. Oh, I'm probably just going to have it something like this. It's because the... There we go. That looks nice. I'm, and I might put some glowstone up here too. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to see that. Now, another thing I've been doing is uh, I've been farming quite a bit of trees. So let's see. I think I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of wood here too. Oh, and we have some signs here. So I think I have a fence gate. There we go. Some uh, some wooden stairs. Uh, now we have quite a bit of torches. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, one thing that would be nice is we should place some torches around the areas where we currently don't have any glowstone, just so uh, everything is everything is in uh, good condition as far as that goes. Actually, one thing that I wanted to do is just in case the mob grinder blows, and it's very much possible. Oh my god, there's so much witches there. Uh, I've been thinking about one kind of issue is because I remember this actually happened in my vani uh, in Minecraft vanilla super flat survival world while I was filming but I don't I'm not really sure but I think I had a lot of mobs uh, my uh, the bottom of my grinder was exploded by creepers so uh, a bunch of the mobs that were dropping down were all just roaming around at my base and that was horrible that was probably one of the worst things that happened to me in Minecraft and one issue that happened because of that was actually because Oh, that looks much better. One issue that um, came up because of that is actually that I had um, I had stone or wooden plates on all of my doors, and when the mobs came up, they could just enter my house without even uh, with the doors not really being very efficient in stopping them. And as you can see, these plates they can actually be quite dangerous if mobs can step on them because pretty much. If a mob steps on them, including a chicken, I think, then they could just enter my uh, storage area. So one thing that I have to keep out for is that I might have a little, um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'm going to create a little door over there, and then I might have a little house, outhouse over there, and that's just going to be my safe house. Or I might build it somewhere, I don't know, around here, I'm not sure. And oh yeah, this is, I think this is my s lava storage area. I don't know if this was there before. Um, but, uh, it is there now, um, let's see. Now let's go ahead and kill off some of those, uh, witches that have been spawning there. There's way too much of them. Now, although this grinder is very efficient, on the other hand, it's kind of a nuisance as well, because it's just so efficient that there's just way too many witches spawning there. But, thanks to the fact that there's so many witches, I can get a lot of redstone and a lot of glowstone, which is great as well. Which helped me very, very much. Oh yes, unfortunately, let's see. How far, I got, I have to open the door and then shoot from here, because that way... There we go, nice. Uh, that looks like a good idea. Oh wow, that kind of backfired at me a little bit. Um, now the issue is that they're drinking potions of regeneration, that's why it's so difficult to kill them. Uh, you know what, let me just open this whole thing, and that way I can just, uh, yep, a little bit dangerous, there we go. Uh, need, uh, okay, now how the heck, ooh, there's a lot of spiders there, okay, let's close that up, uh, nice. So, uh, let me just, uh, eat some carrots, let's see. Now, I have to move all this stuff back into the base, so let me just, uh, let's see, do we have enough space? There we go, nice, nice, um, put my string down, uh, spider eye is gonna be in the bulk items chest, uh, the gunpowder, uh, so then I'm gonna go ahead and put this over to the bulk items chest, 
Uh, then put down my glowstone. Ooh, we almost have enough glowstone to make another glowstone block. Uh, let's see. Put down my glass bottles. Uh, oh, we also have my sugar. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, haul over all this stuff. Oh, here's another thing that I did. I crafted two stacks of wool from all of the uh, spider strings that I had. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to start a little farm where I could farm dyes. And then I'm going to create what I usually do in my Let's Plays is... Um, what I usually do in my worlds, especially Super Flats for our worlds, is I create a little wall on top of my grinder of all the different colors of dyes that I can acquire and all of the different colors of the uh, wool colors that I can get. So, uh, let's see. Well, for that, I might need... Let's see, this is probably... I'm just thinking... Oh, there we go. Dyes and product. So, I'm just gonna put the wool down there, and then I'm gonna put the respective colors of all the wools and put down the uh, all of the different... Um, all the different dyes. Uh, now let's see about dyes. I think we had some um, squid ink sacks somewhere. Oh yeah, and we have 40 raw chicken. So sooner, soon enough, we're gonna start eating. Uh, instead of eating these carrots, we're gonna start eating um, raw uh, cooked chicken, which is much more nutritious than this raw um, than this raw carrots. Uh, ooh, we do have 10 ink sacks. So now let's go ahead and craft some. Uh, let's see how much do we need. One, two, oh, we need four, so let's just craft uh, four black wools, um, and then let's just craft another one for display. So then what I'm going to do is on the very bottom, probably starting from around right here, I'm going to place this wool, um, and I, I also like to have uh, torches up there. Now, I don't know I have this here. Probably demolish this. And then on top of there, I'm going to place uh, my black wool. So let's see. Can I jump up there? Yep, there we go. Nice. And then place two torches right here. And as and when I get more dyes, I'm going to keep adding more. Now, let me think about this. As far as I know, I don't think we have any grass in this world. So this makes it very difficult to acquire any types of dyes. Um, now, I think the only dyes... We might get some colored wool. We might get some colored dyes from uh, from villager trading, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but a large part of the industry and a large part of the different items that I'm going to be able to get in this world is going to be due to trading. So let's just place this down. Let's place a black wool block and then an ink sack. Um, and let's just place white wool down um, and then place all the ink sacks. And then let's see, do we have any... Um, Let's just place some bone meal. There we go. So just to show, because uh, bone meal is technically the color for coloring wool white, but it's already white. So um, now let's go ahead and collect all these different, uh, well, not all these different, but all these similar eggs, all these eggs that the chickens have laid now. And wow, they're going fast. One kind of difficulty with these eggs is that they only stack up to 16, so that's a little bit of an issue as far as uh, storing them goes. But um, now, one thing that I've been thinking about is it's getting a little bit difficult to... I I'm, I was thinking about expanding my area to store my items because this is a little bit too constrained. So, I might move all these chests. I might offset them one block over here, but then I'm going to have to offset some other things. I'm not really sure. But, I think that right here I'm going to have some storage area as well. Now, yeah, we're definitely getting too many eggs. So, let's see what we can do about that. Let's probably craft... Let's just craft... Um, Let's craft a double chest. Although, actually, we could just place all these eggs down in this double chest. Uh, let's see. Um, agriculture. Um, now, right here, we're always going to have... Um, or, actually, what we can do is we can place down some eggs. Let's just grab some of them. We can place down a row of eggs in this agriculture chest just for making and crafting different food items. Um... So that's going to occupy the bottom row. Let's see. One more no row that. Uh, let's see. There we go. Nice. Uh, so let's place that down right here as well. And then the rest of these eggs, I'm going to place down into the bulk storage. So that's going to be where all the bulk storage of the eggs goes. And of course, it requires double... I have to, I have, to have a double chest to store all the eggs just because they only stack up to 16, which... Um, makes a chest four times uh, less capacity for the eggs because you'd usually be storing regular items to 64. Wow, there's way too much eggs. Now let's see, I think most of the chicken have already grown up, so what I'm going to do now is I'm probably going to breed them up, and after that I'm going to um, 
kill off some of them, so let's see what we have. 40 raw chicken. Uh, oh yeah, this is just my non-bulk materials. Oh yes, another thing which is really awesome is we have 11 obsidian, which means that we can craft another portal. Now, I think that we can end this episode with going to the nether. I don't think that we're going to build a house in this episode in the nether because uh, this episode is already quite long by uh, by my sense of time. I don't actually time my episode so they can... I don't time my episode so they can vary uh, greatly in the, in the amount of time that it takes to, for me to, to do the different episodes. But I feel like this episode has already been quite long so I wouldn't want to make it any longer. Now, let's see... Um, oh, we have some three signs. I'm probably going to take this sign and say, uh, bulk eggs. There we go. That's good enough. Uh, so let's see. Now, what did I want to do? Uh, two, oh yeah, this is going to go right here. Uh, oh, we could actually use the stone sword to repair our current sword. It's kind of running out. There we go. Nice. Now, what else can we use? We can use this, uh, these pickaxes to repair my current pickaxes as well, or actually I'm just going to combine them like that. Uh, ooh, I can use the stone axe to repair my current axe, so there we go, nice, nice. Um, I think we have everything we need, uh, 14 ladders. Um, actually, one thing that would be really useful for going to the nether would be to get a little bit more cobblestone, and it seems like I'm always running low on cobblestone no matter what I do. Um, so let's see. So let me grab my seeds from over here. Now how much seeds do I actually have? I think I should have... Yeah, looks like I don't... I have not made much seeds. I think these, these are all the seeds I have. Uh, no, I just have some seeds here. I uh, also have some stack of seeds here. Uh, and hopefully that's going to be lying there undisturbed because just in case if I get if I have to get, have seeds from here then I could have some seeds here or if I want to make some uh, wheat here I can have some wheat here, some seeds over there. Uh, ooh, the sun is rising. Awesome! I can already see that it's twilight. And of course I rarely sleep in this world because there's not really a need to because there's no mob spawning. Ooh, we got our pocket in here. Uh, we got our glass. Why do we have glass in here? Let's see. We should have glass right here. Yeah, this world isn't very organized. I should probably have, you know, I'm probably going to make a little port somewhere, but I'm probably going to lay it around with soul sand because, as we know, um, boats can't uh, get destroyed if they bump against soul sand, so I'm going to have to make a little port here. And as my base grows, I'm going to have a little canal that runs from my base and out into the ocean into several directions. And then that way I'm going to have a little a little chest there, or, or a double chest there that's going to have uh, all the boats. I might have a dispenser with the boats, but I'm not sure that's because it's going to look really nice to have a nice port where I can uh, lay down the boats and uh, sail out into the infinite sea that is super flat ocean survival. So, uh, let's see. Oh yes, now I'm going to get back to what I wanted to do, uh, first and foremost, let me just collect all these eggs. Uh, wow, there's just so much of them. Now let me think, what can we actually do with these eggs? We can't, I don't think we can craft much with, this, with these eggs, the only thing we can do is, we can probably start an automatic chicken farm and load it up with all these eggs that we get. Uh, we can use them just to spawn new chicks, so let's just, there we go, we spawn some new chickens. Yeah, let's just throw them around. That's pretty much the only thing we can do with them. Um, but although I'm still probably going to save most of them for later use, just in case I need them, because if all these chickens somehow die, I could just use these uh, eggs to spawn in more chickens just in case. Uh, so let's see, is there any more eggs around here? Okay, there we go. I'll no, just lay all them down. Oh, two stacks of eggs. Okay, so let's uh, grab our uh, seeds and let's uh, breed up all these chickens. Now, Let's see, how much chickens do we have? We're gonna start out with, uh, with a stack of 64, and oh my god, the chickens are way too loud. Interesting that some of the chickens ignore me, and some of the other chickens don't. It looks like the chickens that have already bred are the ones that ignore me, and the ones that have not yet don't ignore me. It's kind of difficult to... to feed all the chickens at once because they're all just running around me, so... I'm just kind of jumping around here and spamming right-click to try to feed it all to them. 
Now, it looks like we only have 10 more, so I'm just either going to stay around here till I can't find any more chickens that will receive the seeds, or I'm just going to uh, feed them the seeds until I run out of them. So, it looks like I have 8 currently, so are there 8 more chickens in this crowd that need to be feeded? Let's see. I don't think so. Uh, looks like most of them have already opened. There's one. Uh, we have to find a second one. Uh, let's see. Are there any ones right here? Doesn't look like it. Wow, there's way too many chickens. Okay, looks like we have enough, so... Now, yeah, looks like there's way too many chickens here, so let's just... There we go, let's critical hit them. Oh, although I can just... Oh, I can just hit them once, there we go, nice. Uh, now let's kill off most of the adult chickens. Uh, we'll leave most of the uh, young chickens. Uh, there we go. Also, chickens are pretty nice because you're able to kill them with one hit without having to use too much uh, force. Uh, but of course it has to be with a sword, like like a stone sword or something similar or more powerful because uh, quite obviously the um, you can't kill them with one hit with your hand and that's going to take quite a long time to hit them because you're just going to start running around. So uh, let's see how much... Uh, okay, we have 17 raw chicken. Oh, actually that's 18 now. Let's kill off some more of them. Some more. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, let's get those. Let's get this one right here. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, let me hit this one. Now, hopefully, we're going to have at least half a stack of raw chickens. Now, actually, now that I think about it, I'm probably going to cook all this chicken and bring it with me to the nether because it's, uh, it's quite efficient to use with me. Uh, so let's see, now we have 30, now let's probably just get half a stack, and then, uh, oh, there we go, we have half a stack. Now, I mean, I could probably kill off more chickens, but I would, uh, refrain from doing so just because, just in case. I like to have, uh, a surplus of chickens always waiting. Now, let's see. Let's put down these, uh, raw eggs right here, let's put down these seeds, uh, now let's see, where do I have my, uh, that's where I have my agriculture chest, so that's where I'm going to have my, uh, my raw chicken. Although, on the other hand, I, sh I could probably place one here. Uh, now, let's see. Do I have any, any fuel in a... Ooh, we have, uh, I don't know, we had 16 charcoal here. It's pretty nice. We have, uh, 29 elk wood planks as well. Actually, I don't really need torches that much, so I think the best choice to, to do would be to actually use the 16 charcoal to cook up the 64 raw chickens. And charcoal lasts very long, so uh, hopefully these uh, 16 charcoal will be able to cook 64 raw chicken. I'm pretty sure of that. So Now, while that's going, I'm going to be building up my nether portal. Uh, let's see. Should probably. Oh, I'm probably going to bring my sign with me, so... Now we're kind of running out of food, so let me just take this chicken, raw, uh, I mean not raw chicken, but this cooked chicken and eat it. There we go, nice. Regenerates quite a bit of hunger. Uh, now let's see, I'm probably going to have my nether portal somewhere right over here. That's because I don't want it to annoy me all the time. Um, now we got to be very careful with the obsidian that we have because we don't want to mess up. We only have uh, 11 obsidian. Well, that's more than enough to make another portal, but we still have to be very vigilant not to mess up. Um, I'm probably going to have it facing... Yes, I'm probably just going to have it somewhere over here. There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, I wasn't able to get that. Probably should have uh, gotten that quicker. Uh, there we go. I'll place the obsidian here. There we go. Nice. Awesome. I love this obsidian. Oh, I think we got this obsidian from all of the blacksmith chests that we raided, so... There we go. Nice, nice. Uh, gotta be very, very careful. Uh, now let's just uh, jump up a little bit. There we go. Place this. And then, uh, hopefully... Yep, hopefully this is correct. There we go. Nice. And now all I have to do is light it. And I'm gonna light this nether portal the same way that I did with uh, with my nether portal in um, in my diamond super flat world. And that is just by... Oh, we got that piece. Uh, it's just by placing some lava around here. And actually, that's I think that's the reason why I have this lava stored right here. That's just to light the nether portal. Uh, and obviously, we don't have any iron in this world. So that's the only way that we can light it. Uh, in my... Uh, diamond super flat world, at least I have, uh, some 
iron left. Well, uh, right here we do have an iron sword, uh, an iron pickaxe, a rail. Oh, I think we got the rail from one of the dungeons that we raided. We got some gold ingots. Oh, wow, we got we even got three diamonds. I think that's from some of the blacksmith chests that we raided. Also got two ender pearls. That's from some of the endermen that spawned around this island where back when it was uh, poorly lit. Uh, but we don't have any iron ingots, so the only way that we can light it is using lava. Or just try to kill a bunch of zombies from the... Or just create, uh, add some blocks to my, uh, spawner to make it into an XP farm, so then I could just, uh, kill a bunch of zombies with a one hit from my, uh, stone sword and, and, uh, hope and pray that I get an iron ingot soon, because that's a very rare drop. But, of course, I'd have to kill hundreds of zombies to do that. And it's just much better and easier to do that with, uh, with lava. Uh, so let's see. Oh, well, we need to get our, uh, bucket. Uh, so let's see. Oh, we have some, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna probably, I'm not gonna use oak wood planks. I think, I think wool is a little bit, uh, more flammable as far as that goes. So, let's see. I think we're probably, yeah, we're probably going to have to, uh... Although it's interesting, what would happen if we would pour lava down there? Would it just create, uh... Would that just... If it would flow down, would it just... Oh, it probably just spawn in cobblestone and then just ceased going down. Or would it just create a really long line of cobblestone that goes down there? I'm not sure. But regardless, we're going to have to close this off. And to do that, we have to go underneath the island, which is very easy. That we built right on the edge of the island. It makes it much easier. Uh, so there we go. We have this little area right here, which into it we're going to pour lava in. But before I do that, I'm going to put some wool around it. So... There we go. So, put these wool, and then I'm gonna place the lava right here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the lava. Um, there we go. Nice, nice. Oh, and we're still gonna have to have that storage spot just because, uh, you know, we're not gonna actually use the lava. Ooh, I almost just, I almost just spilled that out of there. Make sure not to run around with a with a bucket full of lava around you. So now we're just gonna stand there and wait till it ignites. Now, hopefully, like I said in the last, um, actually. The last episode of any series that I filmed was my Diamond Super Flat world, and that was the episode where I went to the Nether. And I did the same exact thing, except I used oak wood planks to light my Nether portal. Uh, so that was pretty effective. Uh, in the first, the first time, I kind of did it wrong, and I had to have, uh, and I put basically oak wood planks like this, but that obviously made it impossible to light the Nether portal. So. I found a better way. I remember how I did it last time, and this is the best way to do it because there's no blocks obstructing here. And of course, we have to get, we have to have that flame on the side of the wool block to to light the portal. Um, and that might take quite a long time. So, like I said before, so I'm just gonna probably go ahead and do some other things while that's at it. So, uh, wow, the sun's already setting. Now let's see. Now we do have 64 oak wood planks. Um, let's see. Now, we do have a lot of wood, but I really wish we had a little bit more cobblestone, because we only have, we have less than two stacks of cobblestone. That's, that's way too little. Uh, but regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and collect some more wood, just because, uh, we always need more wood. But of course, most of the building that I do is building with, uh, with cobblestone, which makes cobblestone much more of a needed resource than, uh, than oak wood is. The reason why I don't build with oak wood is I don't I don't fe I feel like oak wood isn't uh, isn't as um, as strong as uh, cobblestone. And another thing is that oak wood can light on fire. So technically, if there is a fire, um, so for example, I see a lot of people building their skyblock base out of oak wood just because it's easier. But what's gonna happen if a lightning is gonna strike your uh, strike your island, or what's gonna happen if uh, if you're gonna put lava there on your island, and then it's just gonna ignite your island, and then your whole island would burn down. That that would kind of really suck. That's why I don't use oak wood for uh, for any of my structures that I build. Uh, but each to their own. So, ooh, there's a sapling over there that didn't grow. Ooh, we have some apples. And actually, yeah, we have a really large um, tree farm in this world. In this um, on this island in a survival world, so we do have definitely more than enough wood. Now let's see, what am I gonna do next? Now I I am planning in the future I am planning to carry some villagers up from under from under um from under from some village and then somehow transport the villager uh, somewhere 
over here. Uh, that's gonna be very, very difficult to do, just like it was very difficult to do in my, uh, in my vanilla super flat world, uh, and there, I have not currently built an iron farm there yet. Actually, to be honest, I have not built any iron farm in any world yet, so this is going to be a first for me when I'm going to build an iron farm. Uh, I'm also planning to have an, a villager trading center somewhere around here where I could uh, trade with villagers, and of course it's going to be all automated with rails. Wow. How did that happen? Wow, not not one of the, not one of these wool blocks even burned down, and I already have the nether portal lit. Oh, I think that the the flame somehow lit this part of the um, this obsidian part, and then that just ignited the nether portal. So let's just go ahead and uh, be careful. And I'm shift clicking just to make sure that I don't fall on lava. It happens all the time, and it really really sucks. So I'll just place that down there. Um, although, actually, I'm really, I'm running so low on, uh, cobblestone that I'm just gonna go down here and, uh, see, let's hope that we can get it before I suffocate. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that, um, unfortunately. Okay, so there's just gonna be a double, uh, a double two blocks down there, so that's fine. Uh, now let's see, now let's, uh, put the lava down here, and actually... Uh, one thing that I was thinking is around here I might have a large lava pool and I'm gonna keep on going to to the nether and from the nether and then I can just keep getting lava from there so I'm gonna have infinite lava around here I might use that for some of the furnaces uh, for my smeltery area here which I really pretty much never use I, I don't even know why it's here I'm probably just gonna you know deconstruct this whole area it's taking up way too much space uh, so anyway let's see did we get any more apples that spawned yes we did I knew that we we're gonna get more apples so looks like some of them actually fell off the edge but that's fine I already have enough apples let's see how much apples do I have Wow, we're almost up to half a stack of apples. That's really great. Uh, let's see, oak saplings. Oh yes, now I'm gonna put my bucket. I'm gonna put my bucket back. Uh, I'm gonna put my bucket back in here. Uh, I'm gonna put my uh, wool right in here as well. Uh, let's see now, where do I have my? Yes, this is the area where I house all my pretty much all my oak saplings. Do I have any of my agriculture chests? Oh, let's see. No, I don't. Well, it's better to have all of them in here anyway, so... Pretty much all the leaves have decomposed by now, so let's just go ahead and plant some more trees down as well. I think at some point when I have, like, five or so stacks... Now, as of right now, I don't have that much wood, but when I have a whole row full of oak wood, that's when I'm just gonna stop uh, farming trees. But as of right now, it's always good to have more trees than less, you know. Uh, now let's see what happened to wow our chicken are still cooking that's that's taking oh wow we still have quite a bit of charcoal now i think we're gonna have some left over to make some more torches so that's pretty nice uh we still have some oak wood planks um now the last thing that i'm gonna do in this episode is i'm gonna go to over to the nether um, now is there oh and we're just probably gonna collect some of these eggs uh, in the meantime uh, let's just run around here wow how did that get here Oh yeah, some of the, I think the chickens, they spawn so much eggs that they sometimes even glitch out. Yeah, I usually get around one or two stacks of, uh, of eggs every time I collect them. But there's not as much chickens as there were before because I killed off a lot of them. Uh, so let's get, oh, that, oh, actually, I, the reason that happened is because I accidentally hit the, the chicken with the egg. So, as you can see, now let's throw it up. Let's see how high up it goes. Wow, that's pretty high up. Oh, where'd that go? As you can see, you can hit the chickens with the eggs, so that's pretty pretty nice, but uh, that's not really what I came here for. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and deposit the eggs in my bulk chest. I'm probably going to move these eggs right here as well. And it's great that we have a bulk egg chest because I can really see how this is going to become, even the double chest can become overfilled. Um, yes, we have 63 cooked chicken because I ate one of the chicken. Uh, now, let me just uh, craft uh, some some more torches uh there we go let's craft a little bit more uh yeah that's that's fine that's fine that's that's more than enough um let's see and then that's probably just i'm just pro probably gonna put this in my uh in my wood chest because charcoal is a wood product uh, now i'm gonna put down my carrots into my um agriculture chest and do we have some carrots here as well yes we do now from now on i'm gonna eat cooked chicken Cooked chicken is much better than uh, eating carrots all the time. 
So regardless, I'm probably gonna create a little, uh... I'm gonna put down some chests, and I'm gonna wall this area in. Off camera, I'm gonna take... Oh, that, this is where my all of my cobblestone walls are gonna come in handy. Uh, pigmen can, from time to time, spawn near the nether portal, so I should probably create a little fence around here to make sure that the pigmen that do spawn don't actually, um escape and walk around so no i don't i, I don't mean pigmen i mean the uh, the zombie pigs or what are they called now mostly called pigmen too so there we go going into the nether whoa now let's uh look at our spot Ooh, we can have a lot of fun with these um we can have a lot of fun with these uh deposits of uh oh we can already oh this is dangerous now, yeah, let's hope this is gonna flow down. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, I just had a lag spike there. Wow, there's a ton of, there's a ton of, um, uh, not obsidian, but um, glowstone there. Now, looks like we've kind of spawned on, on a higher up ground type of area. So let's see. Now, just to make sure. Yeah, this is gonna be really dangerous because you don't know where this. Oh, yeah, this is this is definitely not safe. Especially as you can see that thing. Once you start touching it, it's just gonna it's just gonna all fall down. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is a little bit dangerous. So, but this is gonna be a great uh, place to collect any gravel or any flint if we need to. So, that's pretty nice. Uh, now, in the next episode, I'm, it looks like let's see. Ooh, there's a large, uh, there's a large ocean of, uh, lava down there. Um, now I think there's a large cavern over there, as you can see, so there's, there might be some gas hiding there, so that's a little bit dangerous. Uh, so I'm gonna start protecting my, uh, my, I mean my nether portal right now, but, uh, as of, as of this time, I have to end the episode because I think it's getting way too long, so... Anyway, thank you for watching. This was Minecraft. Um, I hope uh, this was interesting for you to watch. Uh, I had a lot of fun in this episode. I accomplished a lot of things off camera, including making that huge uh, farm of chickens. Um, now we have gone to the nether, and instead of seeing oceans of water, we can see oceans of lava. So that's that's quite a big change in uh, in the landscape, isn't it? Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This was Minecraft, and uh, yeah, see you all in the next video, guys.